Quick Edit lets you edit any mesh at all, including animated meshes, right in the Unity Editor. For example, I'd like another version of this zombie. I can select the mesh, go to Tools, Quick Edit, Edit Selected Mesh, or just hit Ulti on the keyboard, and now I can jump right in and edit by face, edge, or vertex. So I'll just drag select these, maybe move them up a bit to make sort of a taller stretched out version of this guy, and click on Save. I can either save and overwrite the original or create a new. I'll just click Save with that general name there. And now I have a new version of that zombie, and if I hit play, the animations all work just the same. If I were to place the original next to him, we'd now see we have two versions, creating a little bit more interest and variety in the game. Quick Edit is also great for customizing purchase level assets to either better fit into your game or just add personality. For example, maybe I would like to have a longer version of this light here. Set it up something like this. I'd like this to come down a bit further. Again, I can select that mesh, hit Alt-E to bring up Quick Edit, and start editing it. I'll just grab these vertices here and pull it down a ways. Once I'm done, I'll click on Save. Again, make sure this is saving over a or into a new mesh and not over the original. And done. I could also make this railing a bit more interesting for my level. Select it, click Alt-E, and start editing. Let's make this maybe a bit more busted up looking or some different sizes. And quickly start making something that's a little less generic or maybe fits the aesthetics of my level better. Maybe in this case I would actually save over top of the original mesh so that all the railings in the game will be updated with this exact mesh. For one last edit, let's take this arch and make it a little bit smaller. Again, I'm grabbing any of the verts, edges, or faces I need to edit and move them around until I have it ready. Before saving the changes and finishing, I can rebuild the colliders, UV2s, or normals, and I can even triangulate the entire mesh if I like to give it a bit of a more retro look. If you've made major edits, you can center the pivot to bring the pivot back to the center of the object. And of course, you can delete faces if you'd like to make something a bit more efficient. For example, if I knew that I would never see the back faces on this arch, I can just select them and hit backspace or click delete faces in the GUI. And now it's just a bit more efficient. Of course, on a larger scale, that can make quite a bit of difference in your game. Lastly, I can always just hit cancel if I realize I don't want any of these changes I've made, although undo will usually do just fine. I can hit control Z and go through and undo my changes. But again, if you're just absolutely sure you do not want to keep any of the changes, click Cancel, confirm yes, and all of your changes are nice and quickly undone. And that's really it for Quick Edit. This is a quick, simple tool for editing your meshes. We really hope you enjoy it for creating variety and customizing your games. And thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out our other tools like Pro Builder for creating entirely new meshes, and of course the new Polybrush for sculpting and painting in your scene.